Okay, so it's uh, around midnight on uh, day nine of my 10 day juice fast, June 2020. And um, just wanted to get on here and do my little daily briefing. I had plenty of juice when I woke up this morning in the fridge. Lots, in fact, I still think have fruit juice in there. I just remembered lots of fruit juice, lots of tomato juice. And um, I just, you know, drank that all day long with other supplemental beverages. A little tea, a little, what else did I had? Oh yeah, I started drinking Odul's Zero Calorie Beer, which is very refreshing, very refreshing. That is a new discovery. It's a little pricey. It's more than Odul's. Oh, did I say Odul's? It's Heineken, Heineken, right. Heineken zero calorie, not O'Doul's. Um, little more than O'Doul's, but just so refreshing, especially this time of the year around June, you know, June, it's just getting it's good old summertime and that flavor of beer, it's really, I really like it. So anyway, I had a couple of those today and, um, but I was very busy today. I was really in action today, which is great. And I'm starting to realize more and more that action is the antidote to overeating. Rather than using eating as an action, actually being engaged in action and not so focused on food, which is super, super great. So tomorrow is the last day of my juice fast. Um, and I'm very hopeful that I will be able to accomplish this um, and that's very, very good. I'm thinking about eating and I'm thinking about a new, um, uh, watchword that I hope to have when I go back to eating, which is stop, look, and listen. Like before I eat, stop, look, and listen. Basically really think about what I'm doing, you know, what I'm eating, why I'm eating, and, um, just be very mindful of it because this business of losing weight is it's quite an ordeal it, it takes way too much attention way too much attention I exercised today I ran I did actually did my calisthenics with my body coach on YouTube did my yoga did my rebounding and that was just sublime that was just so good I hope to do it again tomorrow it's it, it gets the metabolism energized enervated so that you know your your whole body is just um, uh, it's kind of operating on a higher frequency and um, oh I've got my bands out too for my legs and you know all these things are kind of difficult to do I thought when I walked out of the house to go for my run I thought what did I have to get through mentally and getting things done to actually be able to get my shoes on get everything straight and walk out of the house to go for a run. And it's actually, there were many times when I could have just said, nah, I'm not going to run today. But I know how much I enjoy it. And um, it's my drug of choice. So, you know, I did it and it was great. And also, um, I've been off coffee for nine days. And I noticed before I got onto the video that I had dark circles on my, under my eyes. I actually put some eye concealer on there. So my dark circles didn't go away. Other symptoms of inflammation have gone away, but for some reason that didn't. And I'm gonna to try to stay away from coffee as much as I like it when I drink it. It's way too acidic for, for really anybody. But, you know, I'm realizing the acidic quality of coffee and that it's just not a health beverage, so to speak. I mean, there are times I think when coffee is, you know, it's very, it's warranted. It's called for, but um, if one can stay away from it, one is, you know, probably on a better track. So that's really pretty much it. This is just a touching the base of day nine, rolling into day 10. I'm thinking about having a little party. Um, the day after my juice fast, I mowed my yard really nice and it looks kind of like a golf course. And it has that nice, really green look to it. And I um, have a croquet set. And I'd like to invite my friend over for a little light repast outside and play a round of croquet. 
and I realized I, I need to do it before the grass grows. <laughs> it loses its golf course like veneer. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about socializing, but once again, I've totally reset my palate. Heavy foods are, they're not even like a thought. It's, they're kind of repulsive actually. That will change as I move into eating, but for now, it's, um, it's like heavy foods attract heavy foods, light foods attract light foods, just the way it works for me. So, but I, I am looking forward to being finished with this. It's, it's taken a lot of time during my day, all the juicing, all the shopping, all the cleaning up. And whereas eating and cooking does take time, the juicing is so repetitive that it becomes, um, what does it become? It's just, I don't know. It's just too much of the same thing, maybe. I'm not sure. And it's also, there's always something to eat. There's generally something to eat in the kitchen. But to get the right ingredients for the juice, I find myself having to run out a lot and make sure I have, you know, all the ingredients. And there's a lot to it. But anyway, so I'm just so pleased to be doing it. It is a great, you know, time, a great experience. I'll be doing it hopefully July, August, September, and October. I have four more 10 day juice that I have to look forward to. But wait, there's more. And, um, but always happy when it ends. And, and it also, I realize it gives me, it's like when you restrain yourself and then you let the restraint go, there is a, a natural gratitude that one would not have in, in life. So it actually, it's a, a cycle of gratitude restraint and gratitude, which is, and results, you know, I was what, 125, 125 this morning, which is good, I like that one. And of course, once I go back to eating, I will gain the weight, but just ratcheting it down, because if I hadn't done this, I'd probably be over 140, like 143 by now. So that's 13 or 5, 18. 15, you know, we're, you know, it's just a process because if I don't do it, you know, I just go, go fat. And I, I, Gary called me to go visit him. He was working on a house today and I had my running clothes on and I just went over there. And I actually look good in my, in my little, uh, you know, exercise, you know, they're kind of like, what are they? Gym, tight knit gym clothes, which I, when I'm fat, I don't look good in that, but I did. And I was just so pleased. Such a simple, accessible pleasure. And it stays with one. You know, it doesn't disappear overnight. It might disappear over weeks. But, you know, it's, it's, um, it's an achievement that is, to a certain extent, you know, sustainable. So that's it. Um, I'll be back with Day 10's report.